822 back here on this Tuesday morning, an important one over in Calgary because a non-binding plebiscite, a citywide vote officially underway regarding the bid should the city put forth a bid to host the 2026 Olympic Games. And joining us right now, the former CEO of the organizing committee when it comes to the Olympic and Paralympic Games in Vancouver, uh, John Furlong in Calgary. Thanks for taking the time to do this. We've heard both ends of the spectrum, but why does this bid make sense for Calgary? Uh, well, it makes sense because um, this fits in nicely into where Calgary is today. Calgary has a, a very positive, strong Olympic legacy that's extended from the, the mid-80s until today. And what will happen here is that this will essentially, if Calgary goes ahead with this and wins the right to stage the Games, they will be able to extend their Olympic legacy well into, you know, 2040, 2050, 2060, which would essentially make it uh, the, the, the Olympic city in the world that has the, the, the longest Olympic legacy of any. They will have actually really done what... They probably didn't think about this in the beginning, but they will have actually really rounded off their 1988 performance with, by just extending the whole thing and elevating Calgary to, you know, the, the prominent position in the world as an Olympic winter sports city. You get the uh, world spotlight on a city, but what do you say, John, when we look at the no side, and I'm just going through Twitter this morning, reading some of the arguments on the other side saying it's not the right time, they're concerned about cost overruns, and they'd rather see investment in infrastructure in Calgary for the city to thrive. People are concerned about debt levels. What do you say to that side? Well, first of all, I think the debate's been sometimes nasty and sometimes confusing. And I think what's happened here over time is people have put this plan together that includes a lot of um, you know, what you've been talking about, including upgrades to venues. And what's really unique about this is that you get to do all of this with help from your friends. So you get investments from the federal government, the provincial government, you get it from corporate Canada, you get it from the IOC. So the kinds of things that you've put on the agenda that you want to achieve, you friends to help you do it you take all of that away and you're kind of left to sort of navigate your way forward to, t to do some of these projects on your own so this is what's what great about the Olympics you get so much help and there's so much other stuff that happens just because of the power of what the the Olympic Games is all about you know I've kind of listened to the debate and you know it's it's been confusing and I think what what has happened is the group that's for it and the group that's uh, against it have been having this debate and today I believe that Calgary Bulgarians are going to settle this. They're going to step in and do what they did in 1988. They're going to clean this up and they're going to vote for themselves and they're going to vote for hope and they're going to vote to take uh, what's already happened here and build on it and open the door to a completely different kind of future than Alberta was looking at in 1988. So I, I think this is very positive. I think it's going to end very well and, and I think that if they get a good vote today and a resounding win, which I think they're going to get, it'll really give them a leg up in the international competition in terms of the kind of support that they have going into that contest. Well, you've been par a part of an advisory group uh, backing this bid, so you've kind of outlined what happens if things go on the yes side. Uh, how resounding does this yes need to be for this non-binding plebiscite for City Council to push forward and uh, put forth this bid? Well, if you're asking me that question, I would answer it the same way I did in Vancouver. A win is a win. And I think, you know, in Canada, the majority is the majority. We are a democracy. I mean, if the mayor won by one vote, he would be the mayor. And if the bid wins by one vote, I just, I don't think it's going to be settled by one or two. I think it's going to be a strong result. And, and obviously, though, a result of any kind on the, on the yes side will be enough to elevate this bid forward. And, and I think the big thing at the end of this is to unite the city, is to bring all the forces together. Together, all the political voices together and rally behind this and turn it into an international winner and turn these 2026 games into a blockbuster for the city, for the region and for the country uh, once again. Well, great insight here. John Furlong joining us from Calgary. Appreciate your time this morning. We'll be following this story all throughout the day and updates on City News here in Vancouver. Thank you, John. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Okay. All right.